and welcome back to my channel. I'm Gopanish Mange and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I do things. Now you can use it as entertainment or take it as advice. Use it, don't use it, do what you will with it. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. I come to you in the name of very minimal makeup and freshly tweezed brows, darling. I am so excited about this video. It's another DIY beauty because it is a Saturday so I'm going to be showing you how I get these brows so I'm going to show you how I tweeze my brows because I am a bushy bushy girl I let my brows grow out just so I can show you how I get to this point now tweezing my brows is something that I've been doing for a number of years and something I actually learned from my sister and learning how to actually tweeze your brows and make it look like they have been professionally waxed or threaded is a it's a skill, but you can learn it and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it today. So all you have to do is stick around and I'll show you all the basic five steps that you have to follow to get beautifully clean, tweezed brows, looking professional, but it's something that you did yourself from home. Now, if you have any questions that you want to send to me, all you have to do is go to my Instagram and look for this picture right here. It is at Kopanashimange on my home page, on my profile, you'll see a little lavender circle that says how I do things. Click and you'll see this picture. Reply and let me know what you want me to chat about. It could be about money, your career. It could be about being a woman, beauty, whatever it is on your mind. Let me know and we'll do a, vi a video about it very soon. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into this video all about how you can have your own do-it-yourself brow from home whoa, 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 whoa. darling darling way my darling have you subscribed to my channel I mean I have a feeling this is not the first time you're watching my channel so before we even get into this simple tutorial on how you can tweeze your brows from home please subscribe don't be that person don't be that person okay so this is the look we're going for we want nice clean tweezed brows super clean all around it give it a shape and make it very easy for us to just fill it in when we are doing our brows so that is when you're using your eyebrow pencil so as you can see my one brow has been tweezed and cleaned up and the other isn't so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to show you how i use um, all the equipment that i have the tools that i have just an eyebrow pencil filling it in making it look good tweezing it up and how you fill it in when we're all done so let's get into it Number one, there are some basic tools that you're going to need to make this process super, super simple. The first is a mirror. So you can use your normal bathroom mirror or your wall mirror, but I use a small mirror that I have because it's got one magnifying end and I can get super, super close with it to see exactly what I'm doing. Next is a stainless steel scissor. This is something that you can find from your nail kits or you can just buy a small little scissor, it's a nail scissor and this makes it really easy to just chop off the little brows that are too long but are in the right place. Next is a spoolie or an eyebrow brush. Now the spoolie I have is actually on the back of my eyebrow pencil which I'm also going to need for this look or you can have one that you buy by itself. I also have one that I've used and recycled from an old mascara. I just cleaned it up and I'm using it for this. Next is finally the tweezers that I'm going to use and I've learned my lesson. There's all types of tweezers, all types of prices, but when I go below 100 Rand, I don't find tweezers that work really well for me. So I bought these ones at Clicks or Discam, not really sure. When I buy the ones that are slightly cheaper, they don't have good grip and it's really painful and takes really long for me to tweeze my brows. So the ones that I have, these black ones, I'll leave the link in the description down below for you guys to get them. They're really good and they come in a different set. So you get them the wider ones, the angled ones, and the super precision one. And finally, I have my secret weapon, which is a bar of soap. This is specifically a bar of dove soap. I use this to keep my eyebrows in place and also to make them a bit thicker. I'll tell you more about it in a second. So step number two is for us to get to work and to give us the shape that we are looking for. So we don't want to over tweeze because when you over tweeze and your brows are just way too thin and that you do not want. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to reach for my trusty bar of soap. I'm going to use this along with my spoolie to put my brows down. So I just don't want the brow hairs to move. So I'm going to rub the spoolie over the soap and I'm going to brush 
upwards. I'm going to use my mirror to make sure that I'm getting all the hairs down and I can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to brush all the hairs up until I'm confident that, okay, cool. All the brows are facing upwards and they are sitting still. That's why I use a bar of soap. It's almost like a brow gel. It helps them to feel a little thicker and to sit in place. So now I'm going to reach for my brow pencil and I'm going to use this to shape my brows. So what I do to shape my brows is I start with the inner part of my brow. So the, the last hair on the inside of my brow, at the bottom of my brow, I draw a straight line from the bottom inner side of my brow to the last hair that I can find on the outer upward side of my brow. So whatever's on the top of my brow, the highest hair that I can find, I'm going to do a straight line from the bottom to the top. Now, next I'm going to outline the top of my brow and where I want it to end. That I'm going to do from the top of my brow to the top of the arch of my brow. How to find that is to make a straight line from the nose across the arch of the eye and you'll find the arch of the brow. That's how I found where my eyebrow is supposed to arch. From there, I'm going to draw a straight line from the arch of my brow to the bottom part of my brow. So the last hair on the edge of my brow. And that's where I know where I need to end. So you can always adjust it according to how long you want your brow to be. But this is where you draw the shape that you want. And this is how I decide, okay, I need to tweeze everything that's around the shape so that I do not over tweeze. It's kind of painful over tweezing because now you walk around with this weird looking really skinny brow that nobody likes so to avoid this i always shape my brow beforehand so that i have a good shape and i do not over tweeze and number three it's finally time to do the part that everyone hates it's time to tweeze to actually pluck the hair out of your skin people hate this part because it hurts and they usually stop before they even really realize that it doesn't so the whole thing of making it not hurt is to at least pluck 10 hairs before you decide whether it's too painful or not the first one's always the most painful one but when you keep on going you realize that ah, it's baby pain you can take it i love tweezing because my hair takes much longer to grow back so the brows stay neat for a longer period of time and i've seen that some of my hairs actually do grow back thinner which makes the tweezing process much easier as you keep on going so here's the trick to making sure that no hair slips out of your tweezer and that you get it right the first time. So what you want to do is slide the bottom tweezer under the hair that you want to pluck. And you want to try and get as close as possible to the root. Make sure that you squeeze so that it doesn't slip out and then you pull. So one swift pull and it's out. It is almost painless it is literally a small little pinch and the hair is gone this is why you want a good quality pair of tweezers because if it slips out of your hair then you have that little pain from almost pulling out the hair but you haven't pulled it out so now you have to pull it out again so if you have a good pair of tweezers they'll have like a little flat bed on the tip of the tweezer that is able to grab the hair that way when you pull them together or when you squeeze over the piece of hair it grabs it and gets it out the first time. Now I always start slow and start with one hair at a time but once I get the hang of it I speed it up and I can pull out multiple hairs at a time. It makes it nice and fast and it makes it easy and the pain doesn't last that long. Makes it nice and smooth. So now most of the hairs are out and I just want to make sure that I have a good, perfect tweeze. So what I do is I brush all the hairs up to make sure that I can see any hairs that may be left behind. Thereafter, I'm going to continue to clean up to make sure that I am happy with it. I'm quite precise with this. I want to make sure that all the little hairs are gone. So I'm going to keep going until I am satisfied. So this is what it looks like when I'm done using the big tweezer. I'm not completely happy yet. I'm going to keep seeing if there's anything small that's left behind. Now you're probably wondering what I'm doing with all of the little hairs that are coming off. I usually have a little cotton disc in between my fingers and I hold it right in front of my mirror. Thereafter, to make sure that I'm happy with the cleanup, I go in with the precision tweezer 
and I just remove all the small little heads. Now, you don't need to do this step and you don't need a small tweezer like this one. You can continue using the one that you have to make sure that the area under the brow is completely clean and you keep going until you're happy. So once I'm done with the bottom, I'm now going to move on to the top. So I'm going to take my same soapy spoolie and I'm going to brush my hairs down. The reason why I'm doing this, I want to see if there's any brow hairs that lie above the shape that I want. If there's a root above the shape that you want or outside of the shape that you want, this is the hair that you're going to pluck. So how I do the top is that I move the tweezer inward to grab the hair that I want to pluck out and then I pull it outward to pluck the hair. This helps me to get all the hairs that are above and I keep moving as fast as I possibly can until I see that that top line is nice and clean. So you don't want to pluck anything out if, it, if the root is not outside. We're going for the roots only. We are still going to cut off the top hairs if they're too long in the next and final step. So now we're on to the fifth and final step. So this happens in two parts. The first is for us to cut any hairs that are too long and fall outside of the shape that we want. So we're going to start off by brushing the hairs to make sure that they fall the way they normally would if we were to walk out the house or if we were to fill in our brows. So we're going to grab that pair of stainless steel scissors. So like I said, these are nail scissors. They're nice and small and petite. So you want a small pair of scissors and you want to make sure that they can cut through hair very easily. So what I'm doing here is if there is a hair that the root is in the shape that we want, but it's a bit too long and it sticks out in a place that makes it awkward, you want to cut it out. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm brushing the hairs into their normal place and just passing the scissor around the shape that I want to make sure that any hair that's too long and doesn't fit in with the look that I want gets cut off. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows the way that I would if I was to do my makeup or if I was to just fill in my brows on an ordinary day. So when I fill in my brows, I always start with the bottom line. This is my baseline. This is where I want my brow to start. That is where I usually start off with a nice line that shapes my brow at the bottom. Thereafter, I fill in. So I'm doing short, soft strokes with a good eyebrow pencil that is nice and thin. So every short little stroke seems like a piece of hair. So all I'm doing is that I'm only filling in the parts where my hair is a bit sparse. So as you can see, I'm starting from the bottom where the baseline is and I'm just doing short strokes to make it look like it's my hair, like my normal eyebrow hair. Thereafter, I only do a line at the top of my brow close to my arch. I don't start the line all the way in the center because that's gonna make my brow look a little too hard. So the only time I put a line at the top of my brow is if I want to keep the shape towards the arch of my brow. Thereafter, I'm filling in once again. I don't want to color in my brow. I'm just filling in small little short light strokes to make it look like it's my hair. Now I'm always changing in between the spoolie and the pencil just to make sure my hairs are in the right place and just to make sure that I'm not filling in too much. Remember when you comb over with a spoolie, it does take away a little bit of the pencil and lighten it a little bit. So if you want that semi-natural look, you can always use your spoolie to brush over the parts where the pencil is a bit too hot. So this is the final cleanup stage and this is where I'm taking my precision tweezer. You can use a normal tweezer if you want. And I'm just taking out any random little hairs that I may have missed. Now, the reason why I fill in my brows is to make sure, sure, sure that my brow is the shape that I want it to be. And once I'm done filling it in and it's still perfect, then I'm done tweezing. Remember, we don't want to over tweeze. Never tweeze inside the lines that you like, only tweeze outside. So that's it. That's how I get my beautiful brows once I have done my makeup and I have just finished them off with some concealer. This is what they look like. It looks quite different. So if you take a look at what it looks like without the concealer and what it looks like with the concealer, then you see that, okay, it's quite a big difference and it's very, very neat. So even on days when I don't have my makeup on, um, my brows still look very neat, 
very put together and it just gives my face an entire facelift and all I did was my brows. So if you want to let me know in the comment section what you want to see in our next video all about do it yourself beauty. We've done already epilators. We're going to do shaving and ingrown hairs next. So let me know what stands out for you and we'll do it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one and give me a comment on what you liked and what you want to see on our next video and don't leave without subscribing until next time beautiful people thank you so much for watching i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things hey gorgeous thank you so much for making it to the end of my video i am so 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 happy to have you part of the gorgeous gang now if you have not subscribed to my channel yet click on this picture right here that's my face please subscribe to my channel. And if you have not gone to my website to get the free resources that I have for you, then head over to www.kopaneshimagi.com to get everything that I have that is completely frizzies for users. Until next time, bye.